Hey, in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to get many more uh, app markets or app stores on the on the VI40 tablet. Um, so if you own this device, this tablet, the Honor VI40, you know that the Google Play Store isn't full. Uh, it's kind of like a partially or about halfway downloaded Google Play Store, I guess. Because in the way that it doesn't have all the apps, probably about half the apps or something around that. Um, but anyway, so if, let me show you an example. Um, just a sec. Okay, so if I, for instance, Facebook, YouTube, Fandango, Yelp, those kind of apps. Uh, they are not available on the Google Play Store, on this one. Um, see, I searched for Facebook apps, no actual Facebook app. What you think is, you, what you think is, the, uh, one of the things that it would have the most, even for a partially downloaded Google Play Store. Um, so, how you get around that is get more app markets, or app stores. Um, so, I downloaded two. I have the One Mobile Market and the Amazon App Store, which is more known. Um, so, the One Mobile Market actually has more than you think. I think it actually has as much as the Amazon App Store. That's just an update. Um, so, yeah. Let me show you. It, there's a bunch of more apps, like Google Maps... Facebook right there, um, there's, I don't know, a Temple Run, I don't know, there, you can pretty much get a lot of map apps that are missing from the Play Store, and they're still free, most of the apps are free on the mobile market, um, and even though some apps you download from the one mobile market aren't, uh, some of them don't work, but most of them do. Um, so how you download the One Mobile Market, you go to the Play Store, and you download this app called FrostWire. You might know of it. Yeah, so you see, that's what it looks like, FrostWire. Um, so it, only, it has a three-star rating because uh, the music for it, because it's basically a music, a free MP3 music app. So you can get free music from it. Um, why it's why it's not very good rated is because most of the yeah, well, most of the music you download from here are advertisements or you know whatever. They're not they're not actually songs. But what one thing they do have? Let me go to my Frostwire app. That's very important is the One Mobile Market. So when you first open the app, it should be on the search bar, search tab, and if you can't find it, the One Mobile Market should be here. But if you can't find it, you can search it in the search bar of Frostwire. Um, so all you do is you click on that. And then it asks you if you want to download it. It starts downloading actually sometimes. I don't want to download it because I already downloaded it. And then it should go... I think it creates an application in your app menu. And you'll find it there. Um, so that yeah, that's simply how you download the One Mobile Market. And that's definitely something I hi highly recommend. Um, now for the Amazon market. I was actually surprised by the Amazon market. It doesn't have as many apps as I thought it would. I think it has about as equal as the one mobile market. Um, but it still has a lot of apps, of course. Um, I guess it's not as developed. That's probably why it doesn't have that many apps. Um, but there's actually a lot, a lot of the apps are paid apps for the Amazon app store. Not many apps are free, you can still get them but for free, but it's kind of more about paid apps for the Amazon App Store. Anyway, but how you get that is you, uh, it's not, you don't have to download, or, actually, you, no, you don't really have to download anything. Um, you just go to your Google search bar, or any browser, you don't have to search for the search bar, you just simply type in Amazon App Store, I already have it there, so I'm just going to click on that. So it's pretty much uh, doing a Google search for the Amazon App Store. Let's wait for that to load. Okay. 
Okay, so if we go down here. It's not the first option. You don't you don't want to choose this. You want to go down to the third uh, result. It says install Amazon App Store. So you pin it. You just, all you do. Let me just tap on that. So it'll open it. I don't know if I open, tapped on it, but anyway. Uh, so when you first open the tab, it looks like it froze for a bit. When you first open the the excuse me, the um, yeah the link. It should, there we go, uh, wait. When you first open the link, I don't know what the hell is going on right there. Anyway, when you first open the link, you, um, for this, uh, a page comes up from Amazon that says, download, or install Amazon App Store. Then it will go to your download application that comes with the device. This is very strange. You now I got it freaking stuck. For some reason. It looks like... Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, so yeah, as I was saying, it goes to your download app. When, it, when you download the Amazon app, install the Amazon app store. If you go to your downloads and look in there, so slow. Sorry about that. Anyway, when you first open, it'll open, uh, what, uh, over here, it'll open your, uh, everything you downloaded and the Android, uh, Amazon, actually, sorry, Amazon, there we go. See Amazon App Store release 1 APK. All you do is tap on that and it'll start downloading and then it should show up in your app menu. And then you can make it go to your main home screen, if you want. Um, yeah, so that's how you get the Amazon App Store. You have to sign in to your Amazon account. So if you don't have an Amazon account, you're pretty much screwed unless you use your parents or something like that. But, uh, yeah, as you can see here, actually a lot of the apps are paid apps. Not many free apps, but there are some free apps, as you can see. Um, and then they have the, the one free app of the day, which are, which is... Uh, regularly a paid app. Plus, I heard you can tr you can uh, trial the paid apps for free. Um, so that's pretty cool. Can be pretty useful. Um, and it has a lot of the apps that are missing, of course. So, yeah, uh, the... I don't know if I should... Yeah. So you see that I have this folder called kind of Chinese Junk. Why I named it that is because the, this, this on the tablet came with on the store, it's a uh, app store, but it's all in Chinese, so it doesn't really work well, or you can't read it. Um, and then these sh these two showed up after I did the update, this update from the Onda website, because my tablet, this Onda VF40, I uh, it came with the uh, firmware version or baseband version. 1.2 RC OTA. Oh, actually, no, it came it came with 1.0. Uh, but I updated it because there's updates available on the Honda website. Um, so I updated it to 1.2, but what the problem is, is that it says see it says Android 1.1 full support Google Play, Angry Birds, YouTube, and so on. That's the 1.1 update. So I'm way past 1.1, and I still don't have. The full Google Play Store, which is strange because that's exactly what the purpose of this update is. But anyway, yeah, um, see, as you can see, this came out later, the 1.2 OTA update. I don't know what OTA stands for. But, uh, yeah, so it says to further improve the system details, note add OTA fun update function, which means you can update it from your tablet, which is a lot more simpler because it's not very easy to update it from the computer. So when you update it, you'll get this update app, which make, which uh, enables you to update your tablet whenever Onda releases an update um, from your tablet instead of connecting it to your computer. So it's getting better, the Onda device. Um, so yeah, that's how you download and get more apps for your Onda VI40. So I really hope this uh, video tutorial helped you on getting more apps, and uh, thanks for watching.